It is Earth Day. We're taking a look at the health of our planet's oceans. They matter because they cover 70% of the world's surface and are essential to our lives here on Earth, from the food we eat to the air we breathe. But as our planet warms, oceans are setting new temperature records, which is alarming scientists and threatening important marine ecosystems where we get all that food and the fresh air. Senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy is here to show us efforts to protect life in our oceans as they become ever more fragile. Ben, good morning. Tony, good morning. More than 100 nations, including the United States, have agreed to protect 30% of the world's oceans by 2030. It's called 30 by 30. One way of doing this is to create what are known as marine protected areas, where human activity is restricted or banned. So we traveled to a protected area in the Bahamas that may help one of the ocean's great predators make a comeback. All right, got it. Candace Fields is reeling in what she hopes will be a big catch. She's fishing for images of reef sharks with an underwater video station and a bait cage to get their attention. Bad sign. I don't see any bait. Ah. They tore the arm off. They broke the, the tie arm. holding the arm down. So the sharks were trying to get that bait and Absolutely. they tore the arm off. 100%. She did get the video. Oh, they're going after your bait. Yeah which shows why she lost the rest. So in this round, it sharks one, cat is zero. Shark, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Fields is part of a 58 nation global shark census called FinPrint. In 2018, it found the five main species of reef sharks, which are critical to maintaining the balance of marine life on coral reefs, had declined 63% and were functionally extinct on 20% of the reefs they surveyed, largely due to overfishing and a growing shark meat market. Right, but you come to a place like the Bahamas and you would never think that that's the case because the populations at least seem to be pretty stable and, and thriving. Because this is a shark sanctuary and a marine protected area. You can't come in here and fish for anything. You can't take a thing. Absolutely, it's com complete protection. We hopped in the shark infested waters. Typically there's a lot of shark activity in this area. So we can assume in this area there's sharks swimming below us. Yeah, this is a sharky area. As she deployed another camera, her data is part of a new study to see if marine protected areas help reef sharks rebound. These MPAs might be the way to kind of help these sharks come back from the brink a little bit. There are more than 18,000 MPAs covering about 8% of the world's oceans, but most are just lines on a map because there's little to no enforcement. So we're on our way to look for people fishing. Yes, sir. Not so in the Bahamas. We're in the vessel alongside, please. We joined the Royal Bahamas Defense Force as they boarded several boats. Do you have any ID with you? Boat registration. Checking permits and making sure they weren't Who's catching jumping? protected species. So those people, they're following the law, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Yes, sir. But that's not always the case no, out sir, here. No, sir, it's not always the case. Stop the vessel. The Defense Force has seized dozens of boats. They have 46 persons on board. Arresting fishermen who are often fined and jailed and confiscating their illegal catch. All is loaded with lobster. Like these 60,000 pounds of lobster and other fish. We are there 24 seven. And if you come, we're going to catch you. Senior Commander William Stirrup. We are there on the front lines as a military. That's how important it is to our government to protect our marine resources. So when it comes to enforcement, you guys are the muscle. Yes. This is a product called Skylight. And this is part of the brains of the operation, a mix of artificial intelligence and satellite vessel tracking data. And each one of these black ship-like figures that you're seeing here is a vessel that helps the Defense Force find the bad guys. Greg Kassad is with WildAid, a U.S.-based organization advising the Bahamian government. This is a big chunk of ocean, right? So we're using this technology to help focus those patrol efforts. So the depth is 56 feet. Candace Field says enforcement is key to giving protected areas teeth to help the kings of the reef thrive. There's just tons and tons of reasons that we should work towards keeping the oceans as healthy as possible. And one big reason for that is that the oceans have absorbed 90% of the excess heat caused by climate change, which means without them, we would be living on a much hotter planet right now. So even if sharks freak you out, I'm sure you don't like sharks, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what was we your need first them in the ocean. Then? We yeah. need them in the yes, ocean. Yes, I, I do realize that. 
I do you weren't at all nervous in the sharky water? Yeah, when she said sharky, I was like, uh, could you find that a little bit? Does that mean they're like right under my feet? Yeah, it was a little scary. <laughs> Your little toes are the bait. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ben, thank you very much.